What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. So, in this video, you are going to learn how to create parameters with the correct discipline and data type. So, basically, the objective for this one, again, we are still on the families type or the families topic. So, the objectives for this uh, exercise, we're going to create parameters with the correct discipline and data type and then recognize the use cases for the available uh, type. Okay, so this will gonna be a very short or just a short video so that you'll be able to distinguish between uh, parameter disciplines and data types. Okay, so parameter data types controls the units that will be available for a parameter. Okay, so let's say for example, if I am going to select this equipment here. Okay, so you can see here the units for the airflow here. For the flow, the units is CFM, right? So the units of the elevation here is in feet and inches. So what is the settings that controls these uh, units? So just like what I have said, parameter data types control the units that will be available for a parameter. So let's say, for example, I go to the Manage tab, and then from the Settings panel, I'm going to select this uh, tool here, this one, Project Units. Okay, so this is the tool that we need. So it specifies the display format for units of measure. So I'm going to select this. And then as you can see here from the project units, by default, for the common discipline, so these are the settings available. Okay? So we have the angle, area, cost per area, distance, up to currency. So as you can see here, the distance here is set to feet. The length here is set to feet and inches. That's why you will notice... When I selected the, let's say I'm going to select this uh, duct here. So I click this one. So you can see that the unit of measurement here is set to feet and inches. Okay. So this is where you control it on the project units. Okay. So you can find that on the common discipline and then you can sp uh, change from here. So let's say you want to change the settings of your angle. So you don't want an angle or the degree symbol so you can click that and then you can change from here okay so you can select degrees minutes second okay and then you can also specify here the rounding so by default the rounding for our degrees here is two decimal places and then there's the unit uh, symbol so if you want to specify the unit symbol so you just need to select the unit symbol here Okay, and aside from that, if you click the drop down arrow here, so you will be able to see the other available discipline. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select the HVAC. So if I select the HVAC, you will see here again the units under the HVAC, wherein in this units, you can specify the format that you would like. So, if ever you are wondering why is it the unit of the airflow is CFM, so because of this project units. So, this is where you control it. Okay, so I'm going to click the format here, the format for the airflow. So, I click this one and then you can see here the unit. So, it's in cubic feet per minute with the zero decimal places and then the unit symbol is CFM. So, if you're looking for other units for your... Um, airflow you can click the drop down arrow here and then you can specify the unit that you would like for this one okay right so another thing that you need to understand so I'm gonna close this one I'm gonna close this one so let's say I'm going to open a schedule here so I'm gonna open the mechanical equipment schedule this one okay and then I'm going to select the properties here so let's say I'm going to select the formatting tab. Okay, so I'm going to select edit. There you go. So there's our scheduled properties. So we are now on the formatting tab. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select here the cooling capacity. So if I click the cooling capacity, 
okay you can specify here the field formatting so if i'm going to select the field format here okay so currently the project setting here is being used but if you do not want to use the current project settings that you have set a while ago from the project units, so you can uh, select it specifically, for example, for your cooling capacity. So instead of following the settings that is set up from the project units, so you can uncheck this one. Okay, so to use different units in the schedule, so you just need to deselect the use project settings and then you can select the units that you would like to use here. However, be aware that only units of the parameters data type can be selected. Okay, just remember that one. All right, okay, so you can uncheck this one. So if you want to use different units in the uh, in the schedule, okay, just be aware that only units of parameters data type can be selected. Okay, so let me just cancel this one and then let us move on to our next uh, topic. So when creating a project parameter, the discipline can be specified for that parameter. So let's say I'm going to create a parameter here. Okay, so I'm going back to the floor plan and then to create a project parameter from the manage tab Settings panel you can click this button here project parameters Okay, so I'm going to select this one And then I'm going to create a parameter by selecting this icon here So currently I have three parameters here already created so I want to create another one So I click this icon and then it will open up the pro uh, parameter properties and then i'll be creating a project parameter so let's say for the parameter parameter name i'm going to put like operating weight okay so i want that to be instance i want this parameter to be on the instance properties and then for the discipline i can specify the discipline that i want for this one so let's say i want that to be uh, place under the discipline structural okay and then for the data type so i'm going to specify that as a weight that one okay and then for the group parameter under so where do you want to put your operating weight parameter so instead of other group i'm just going to specify here general group okay so general group so the group parameter are this one, like for example, this one, graphics group, underlay group, etc, etc. So for this parameter, the operating weight, I want that to be under the general group parameter. Okay, and aside from that, I want this operating weight to be on my mechanical equipment. So I'm going to specify the categories here. So I'm going to move the slider down and then look for mechanical equipment. So every time I select an instance of a mechanical equipment, so I'll be able to see the operating weight parameter from the properties under the general group. Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm going to select here. Okay. All right. And then after that, there's our uh, operating weight. I'll just select here, OK. All right. And there you go. So all I have to do is to select my equipment. So for example, this is my equipment. So I select this one. And then this is your instance parameter. So let's look for the group general. So I have constraint group, electrical loads group, mechanical group, mechanical flow group, identity data group pacing group ifc parameters group and there you go so there's our general group so that's our parameter the operating weight and then after that you can specify now here what is the operating weight of that particular equipment okay so this is what you do if ever you want to create a project parameter so that's it so the discipline and type of parameter are critical to ensure that the parameter displays the correct units. 
Alright? So that's it for this simple exercise. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.